I'm happy to have you here in the building in New York. Do you love, don't you love the city during the holidays, oh, New York? Beautiful, beautiful. I'm glad it's not snowing. Uh, the, yeah. de Blasio, not good with snow, obviously. I mean, <laughs> I think it's like the Donner Party when it snows, you know, camp out at the bottom of the mountain and eat your kin. I, uh, <laughs> I, went, over to, I went over to Macy's today. Unbelievably, they had Santa Claus was already up. And, yeah. uh, they made a weird choice this year. They've gone with Bernie Sanders as Santa Claus. Oh, that's and, uh, interesting. All the children line up. They get up there. Yeah. They hop up on his lap. Yeah. And then he tells each kid what he would like from them, which is uh, <laughs> that's amazing. a little bit of a different thing this different, year. Different take, yeah. But did you, uh, how was your flight in? Did you have a good flight? Well, listen, the flight was lovely, but the plane made the ultimate mistake. It arrived early at the gate. Oh, and, you know, no. like, it, that's it's, the it's worst. harder to get in to your airport when you arrive earlier at the gate than it is to get into the country. They take us all the way back out to the end of the <laughs> runway. They turn off all the lights. You gotta sit there, you can't move. I've got a weak bladder, I've gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> so I'm waiting, you know, a guy goes in from row one and I'm thinking, I've gotta get in there, but I'm in row four, so I've gotta look for a diversion. He comes out, I use that to take the, you know, flight attendant's detention away. Yeah. I go up, boom, I'm in, like yes. a shot, I pull the door. Great, but then I realized that he has had what I can only assume is a, like a, a silhouette altering bowel movement, and now <laughs> I'm, oh my I'm a silhouette I'm, tra altering. I'm trapped in there, so I don't get blamed with it for half an hour. And I, we start moving back to the terminal. I come out because you got to return to your seat, and I got to make that face like you know for all the people in the WAF zone. Don't look at me. You know, I, just, I didn't do it. it was just WAF zone. Good gosh. Uh, but uh, I just, I like having you in the building. I feel like this is like, well, have you been in back to the... I haven't been back in a long time, Jim. Yeah. I, you know, we used to uh, work with Saturday Night Live on 8, right? Yeah, and absolutely. Letterman was here, right? Yeah, on Letterman six. was here. When I did Saturday Night Live, Conan was here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, when I first saw you on Saturday Night Live, I thought, well, this, this is the guy who should do it. I mean, you were absolutely great at it. And I even remember at some point, I was honored. I think you did an imp impression of me at some point. Yeah, I you? did, absolutely. Do, I we have a, do we have a photo of that? Or, <laughs> uh, they have, a, but I, it wasn't that good. Uh, but I tried to do an impression of you. <laughs> I, I, it's, pretty it's not that bad. Yeah, but I was, I, I was a fan, so it was more, yeah, I was, I was uh, honoring you. But I, I was, do one impression. <clears throat> you do an impression? Yeah. Yes. I, I don't know. I've never you, seen Dennis Miller do an impression. You might it out of me if you try. Yeah, I, uh, what do you guys think? You guys I do, I do uh, I, 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 what a nice yeah. crowd. <laughs> I do Rocket Raccoon from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Wow. Yeah. All right, let's hear it. Ready? Where's yeah. my camera there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> I, 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 I'm not going to fly in from California to New York to do a raccoon impression. Oh, oh so you. I love it. Thank you, Jimmy. Well, you, I want, when you meet people, you want them to be who you think they are. Now, well, I've, listen, I've, I've been have... a fan of yours forever. Oh, I know. That's sweet of you, Jimmy. When, when, I, I, when I watch you, I always think, you seemed to inhabit when you were on Saturday Night Live doing the news, and I thought this kid's, was it a dream of yours? Or would, yeah. Yeah? Like I when you were believe. young? I could, I, I watched every Saturday Night Live I was religiously. That's the only thing I ever wanted to do. I just loved it so much. I, I remember when it happened for me, I was writing jokes in Pittsburgh. I was working at a comedy club, and a kid came into town, I won't say his name, but he bought some jokes off me, and then I went back to my apartment. I'm living in this crap 60 buck a month apartment with a hot plate, you know, I'm eating ramen off a double album cover and I'm sitting there <laughs> and uh, I'm watching this guy on the Tonight Show with Johnny and he tells a joke that I've written and Johnny Carson like falls out and I'm sitting there leading the crappiest life imaginable. Yeah. I don't know about you, at that point I thought I have to become the conduit for these jokes even though I was reticent up front, you know, yeah. I was kind of shy about doing it, but it's sort of like living in East Berlin and you're walking on your side of the wall and they're shooting snitches and on the other side of the wall, you know, they're playing racquetball and everybody's getting laid. You think, I gotta, I, I, <laughs> Why can't I, I gotta yeah. hop the wall <laughs> and start telling these jokes <laughs> yeah, exactly. this is out of hand. That's, yeah.